What's up you guys? My name is Aaron Oster. I am a number one best-selling author and today I'm going to teach you how to build a world. Yes, you heard me right. I am going to teach you about something called world building. In your world, you have mere godlike power. You control everything and everything that happens is because of you. Now world building is a very big topic and I am obviously not going to be able to cover everything in just one video, but I'm going to try to hit as many points as I can and hopefully you guys will be able to take something away from it. Once again, I'm going to be leaving examples for you guys right up there. So if there's anything you're confused about, hopefully that'll clear it up. So with that said, grab your hammers and hard hats obliterate the like button and let's get right into it. To begin, we have to ask the question, what is world building? And to answer that question, world building is basically the process of building your world for your books, for your Dungeons and Dragons campaigns, for your online fan fictions about your favorite Disney princess. But in a nutshell, world building is important because that is going to be the setting for your entire book. And if you're writing a whole series, multiple books. So I'm going to break it down for you guys in a few really easy steps. How to get started on building the world, how to flesh it out and make it seem interesting. And of course, like I said, I'll be leaving examples for you guys right up there. So the way I like to go about world building is to start small and build my way up. You'll see a lot of people say, no, oh, man, you got to choose the world first. You got to pick the names and then you can build your way down. No, you start small, build your way up. It's much easier that way. And you will have a much easier time building from the bottom up than from the top down. So step number one, take a look around. What do you see? Right now, I'm in a room, obviously, but if I take a peek out the window, I can see some trees, I can see some grass, and I can start to kind of imagine a world of my own. Yeah, I know it's kind of cliche, but we're going to use a forest clearing to start us off. So, as you can see right up here, we've got a forest clearing, there's some grass, there's some trees around, obviously, and there is a stream just running through one side of the clearing. Now, you've got your location. Very small, obviously, but it's a perfect place to start because that's going to be your starting location. Think of it in the terms of a video game. The starting location of your character is going to be there. Now, for how to make your world interesting, the easiest thing you can do is think about the type of world that you want to live in. Really, if you're going to write about something, it may as well be something that you find interesting. Because if you don't find it interesting, you're not going to want to write it. And even if you manage to force that book all the way through, your readers are going to be able to tell you did not enjoy the process. Now, for me, obviously, if you guys have read my books, you know that I love the medieval European sort of fantasy setting for my books. So, obviously, I'm going to go with the forest clearing. Your next step is going to be thinking about what is going to be in that clearing. Now, that's where your main character is going to be starting their story. So, what are you going to put in there? So, for this example, again, just going to throw up a house. A small wooden cottage, humble beginnings for our soon-to-be great protagonist. Yes, another very overused trope, but tropes are tropes for a reason. Now you can see from the example up there, I've added in a little more detail about the house. And no, it has not been professionally edited, so nobody get up there and say, but... What do you mean? Uh, you made a mistake over here, and, and you made a mistake over there, and this is all wrong, man. You should just give up. Quit being an author, throw your laptop out the window, and just give up. And to those people, I would say... No. Getting on to the next step. Uh, so now that you've got your setting, you've got your clearing with your little cottage in it, now you can start expanding out from there. So, you're surrounded by a forest. What's in the forest? Are there any villages nearby? And if there are, who lives there? What are they doing? What does the village have to offer? And do the 
two places have anything in common. So I'm gonna throw up a village over there and from there you can keep expanding outward from the village to the province that your character's going to live in to the kingdom or whatever you want to call it and finally to the world. And I know I make it sound very simple and you know clear cut but when it comes to writing, especially fantasy writing, you have a lot of room. Like, a lot, a lot of room. Like, between my books, I've written the really serious stuff all the way to the most ridiculous things you can possibly imagine. Uh, for you guys who've read my books, you definitely know what I'm talking about. And for those who haven't, why not? But yeah, that in a nutshell pretty much is how you can get started with world building. So... You've built it all up, what now? Obviously, just kick back, relax, and rake in millions in royalties. <laughs> no, but seriously, once you've built your world out, you've got the thing sort of fleshed out, and you have an idea where your story is going to happen, it's going to make the entire thing much, much smoother. Um, I'd love to get into uh, character building, but that's going to have to be a different video because... I only have a certain amount of time, and recording these things isn't exactly easy. And one last thing when you're writing about your world is don't break the rules of your world because it's going to completely break the illusion that you're painting for your audience. For example, if you pick a medieval fantasy setting, you can't just suddenly have a spaceship come flying down, crash land, and then an alien from outer space who gets superpowers from your yellow sun just happens to pop out. Wouldn't use that anyway because, um, lawsuits. Don't want to be messing with those people. But, yeah, do not break the rules of your world. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. Go check me out on Instagram. Go buy my books. If you guys have anything else you'd be interested in hearing, just let me know down in the comments. Once again, subscribe, destroy the like button, ring the notification bell because why not? I'll be uploading Mondays and Fridays at 12.15 p.m. Eastern. I've also been trying to think up of new things that I can talk about on the channel that don't necessarily have to do with writing, whether they're video games, whether they're reviewing your short fiction and reading them out here for you guys and critiquing them, or whether you just want me to talk about myself, really. So comment down below, reach out to me on my Instagram, let me know what you guys want to hear, and I will see you all next time.